Hey, what is up? Today I have these designs over here, and I want to show you how to design one of them using Fizzle Lab. Preferably, I want to show you how to design this particular one right here in Fizzle Lab. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Good. So, let's start from the default background as usual. So, we're going to delete this test over here. After deleting it, then we start working on our background for the design. And for the work size, I'm using the default size in Fizzle Lab. That is one by one, and it is a square space, right? So, I'm going to change the background color to white right away. So, after changing it to white like this, what I have to do is to start importing my elements that are actually blend with the background. So, I'll tap on the hexagonal tool and go ahead to tap on import and I'll pick up my first element from that place quickly. So let me do that right away. Let me see. Um, okay, I've gotten it right here. And this is not a square size image, so I have to position it to become a squared one. So I'll have to tap on the one is to one ratio over here, like this, and push this slider to the top a bit and i'll have my square size image over here at this point i can go ahead and tap on the check mark over here after tapping on the check mark i'll go ahead and tap on the relative size tool over here then i'll make sure everything is 100 by 100 right after that i have to tap on a check mark and go ahead to reduce the opacity of this particular image so i think something like this 15 is not bad but i'll reduce it a little bit down so let's say um, 10 is not bad okay so let's leave it at 10 for now so tap on a check mark go ahead and lock this particular layer at this point you can go ahead not even you can just go ahead and import the second uh, layer that you will use to blend with the background and of course all this stuff will be in the video description so you don't actually have to worry about like searching for them on google because i want to give you access to them in the video description right away okay so i'm just going to import this and tap on a check mark make sure i use the relative size tool to actually position it this way so at this point i can send it to the back of the previous shape or the, the previous elements i inserted so now having pushed it to the back i have to reduce the opacity of it as well so i want to work on that quickly and i think this is okay for me yeah, that is the opacity of 10 percent i think it's okay for me so i'll lock the layer as well okay so at this point we are pretty much done with everything so what we have to do now is to enter the test in order so um uh, i'll start with happy birthday okay after that i'll import the person's image then i'll try using some colors from the person's image as uh, i proceed with the other thing okay so let me go ahead and enter the test happy uh, birthday so the first one is going to be happy let me change my keyboard to english then yeah make it capitalized and the font that i'll use over here should be montserrat boot so let me set through my recent font and save it is here okay i've gotten it over here montserrat boot and here yeah, i have to bring it down a little bit maybe something like this and i want to increase the spacing of the test so let's leave it at this point okay the, the main thing that we're going to do with this test is that after we've entered the test birthday we'll make sure this kind of test the happy align with the birthday so for now let's just forget about aligning it okay so let's go ahead and enter the test birthday right away so we're going to have birthday and of course we have to actually make it capitalized and the font that we are going to use is Montserrat alternate black so let's search and see if it is here good it's here we pick it we tap on ok and we have to increase the size of it now there is something that uh, I will tell you uh, in a jiffy so watch me as I increase the size of this test So I'm going to reduce the line spacing of this. So watch me as I do that as well. Okay, I think this is not bad. This is not bad. Okay, 
So what I'm going to do now is to actually work on the size of the test. So probably I'll reduce it a little bit, a bit to something like this, because I want the parts of the test should be showing. Okay. At this point, I can go ahead and work on my alignment if I want to. So I'm going to use the grid tool to work on the alignment over here like this. So let's see how it's going to be quickly. So what I'm going to do is to lock the birthday test and select the happy test at the top and make sure I align them together. Okay, I think this should be fine for me at this point. Now I'm going to bring in the person's image and start with the manipulation, the necessary manipulation that I actually have to do. So I'm going to tap on import. Sorry, let me do that quickly. I'm going to tap on import and locate the person's image right away. So I think it should be in my photo room folder because I used photo room to remove the background of the image. So this is the person's image that I'm going to use and of course I have to cut it well and tap on a check mark. So at this point I'm going to increase the width and the height of it. So let's say something around 80 or 85. Yeah, this is not bad. So I'm going to push it here like this. I think let me just increase the size a bit. Yeah, this is not bad. This is pretty much okay for me. Good. So I'll put it here. Go ahead and lock the layer over here like this. So at this point, I can now go ahead and pick some test from the person's image. That's if I want to use something like that. So uh sorry i mean to pick some color from the person's image not a test i mean color right so i'm going to tap on test tap on edits and i'm going to enter let's say the dates of uh the date on which the person is actually celebrating the birthday so yeah uh i'm just doing that quickly right here and i'm going to use a font like Montserrat boo the one i use for the birthday I'm going to use the same font for this one as well. I mean, happy instead, not the birthday, happy, right? So at this point, I'm going to change the color to white. After changing the color to white, then I'll do something that you actually have to watch now. So I've changed the color to white and I'm moving down to background. And I'll give it a background color of this. Note, I'm using this because it's part of the person's image or the person's dress so let's say i want to pick the color from the person's dress i'll just tap on the plus sign over here then i'll tap on this color picker tool then i'll go and select the person's image so at this point i can even zoom the image like this and try to pick up a color now if i'm picking a color this will be changing okay you will see the color that is being highlighted okay so let's see the color that i'll actually go with let's see uh i'm just sampling the colors over here right okay so this is something that you can actually do if you have uh pretty much time to actually sample a specific color but in my case i've already sampled the color already okay so this is just something to uh, show you how you can do it okay i've already sampled the color so all i have to do is to go back and use the color okay so i'll tap on this cancel icon then i'll go back and pick the color over here right because i've already sampled it so i'm just going to pick it up then i'll work on the left padding and the right padding of this you know uh background making it five five then i'll move down to radius and increase the radius a little bit so i think seven is okay let's see how it's gonna look perfect this is this is nice right so i'm going to reduce the size of this test and see how it's going to look good so i'm going to also align it so let me use the move to push it down and make sure i push it a bit closer to the grid tool so i think this should be fine for me now the next thing that i have to do is to enter the person's name right here so i'm just going to uh enter the name quickly so i hope i type this as fast as uh, i can so i have thermal okay thermal, 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 good 
So I think we are almost done. So let me change the font to Montserrat Bold as well. And of course, I'm going to change the color to that of the background we use for the other test. So uh, let's quickly go to the color section and pick up this particular one. Then at this point, we have to reduce the size of the test. So quickly, let me do that. Then we bring it to the side over here. And I think this should be fine. Good. Uh, I have to reduce the size a bit more so that the full test can be showing. Okay. So as in you've designed and the person's name is not showing over there, you've done literally nothing. So uh, as far as we want the name to show, we have to do it the right way. Okay. So at this point, we are left with one last thing to end. Our design will complete, guys. So what we have to do now is to import a shape uh a circular one for that matter then we reduce the size of it yeah, like this i think this should be fine or uh, i can even increase the size a bit so let's say something like this uh, this is too big for me i think i like something like this so i'll tap on the check mark and what i have to do after in setting this shape is to add a texture and a texture is going to be the other image of the person so I'll tap on texture and I'll look through my gallery to pick another picture of the person guys so what I'll tell you right now is you can use other pictures that you want to use okay but for this particular tutorial I've not been permitted to share the image so I may not share the person's image however I'll share the other resources I use for the background I'll share that one with you so quickly let me just pick up the person's second image and see uh, how best I can manipulate it. So I'm going to change the orientation of this to something like this. Okay, initially it is like this, but I have to change it like this to face the person, right? It shouldn't turn away from the person like this. It should face the original image we use in the design. So at this point, I have to make it a squared one like this, then push it to the top like this. So after this, I can just go ahead and tap on a check mark, and this is what I'll be having added down over there. Now I have to tap on the check mark over here, then probably add some stroke effect to it. Let's say two, uh, yeah, two is not bad, so two is okay. And what I have to do now is to add some shadow effect to it, okay? So I'll just tap on this sticker, then push it here, tap interior, tap on it again okay i hope you already know how i've been doing this yeah so i'll just go ahead and give it some black color for the purpose of the shadow that we're going to add so i have to reduce the size of it so something like this yeah then i'll i'll tap on a check mark and bring it down so that i can use it for what i want right so now let me just make sure I position it the right way over here. I'm going to reduce the opacity of it to make sure it looks great. So let's see. Good. So the shadow effect is at work. But what we have to do now is to push the person's name to the top so that it will be visible. Just like I said earlier, we want it to be visible. So yeah, pretty much this is going to be it right you can even pull the person's uh image i mean the second image onto here like this if you want okay and make sure the shadow effect is right under it so let me lock that layer and kind of select the shadow effect so the shadow effect is added down let me just uh select it i think it's here good so i'm just going to push it a bit to this side right and that will be all okay so let's work on the name again it's very very much important that the name shows okay so guys this is how to design this simple happy birthday flyer in puzzle lab and i hope you do find this video helpful and if you do don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel so that each and every time i upload a new video you get to receive a notification right so this is also here from serene arts and i hope to see you in my next video let's have Thank you.